All I ever used to dream about was becoming a princess, finding my prince, and living happily ever after in a palace. But the only palace around was the old Tinley place. Grown-ups said that sometimes weird stuff went on in there. All I knew was it wasn't like any other house in town. I forgot all about that place until I grew up and moved to the duplex on Chase Street. In the late 1970s, my husband and I lost our home and just about everything in it when the floods of Hurricane Agnes hit Pennsylvania. Like many of our neighbors, we searched for a dry place to live. The only place we could afford was in the nearby town of West Pittston. Old to move again. Well, you're doing it. I'm still too old. <laughs> You'll never have to move again. You promise? Mm -hmm. I plan on living on Chase Street till we're big. Don't say. <laughs> Girls, get your dolls. <laughs> so how's the trailer treat you, Dan? All right. This is it, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> We'll need paint. So, are you guys moving in here? I'm not a guy. And yes, we are. Hello there, neighbor. Oh, hello. <laughs> I'm Cora Miller from next door. Oh, I'm Janet. Ah, welcome. Yes. Thank you. This is my husband, Jack. Oh, Cora Miller. Uh, and his mom, Mary. <laughs> Hi. His father, John. This is Cora. Oh, <laughs> welcome to the neighborhood. Thank you. And these are my kids. Katie, get down from there. The big one's Katie and the little one's Colleen. Oh, they're adorable. <laughs> so, are you going to fix the place up? Oh, I don't think I could stay here if I didn't. I hear you. We just rent. But I always have to fix things up. Oh, we got to do something. I intend to stay here a long, long time. Hello there. Uh, this is Janet. Janet, this is Dory Hayden. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. I brought some brownies. I made them from the box. Consider yourself very lucky. I did not make them from scratch. <laughs> what church do you go to? I'm a Catholic. Well, great. Let me formally invite you to the church supper the first Tuesday of the month. What does your husband do? Oh, he's the foreman down at the gum factory. Dory. Oh, well, I thought he might want to join the Lions Club. Bud can get him in. Oh, I'm sure we'd both like that. He was a lion back in Wilkes Bar, and I was you a lion. Oh. oh, I've got to go. Let's let them move in. <laughs> Can't wait to tell Bud about you. See you next Sunday. If you need any help, just give me a yell. Thank you, Carl. Bye. You see? We're making friends already. How's your side, Mom? Oh. Well, I thought we'd moved into the wrong address. Well, I'm sure it has possibilities. Been helping Grandpa paint. Oh, you sure have, huh? That's my girl. I'll come help you later. Okay. I could use it.
Janet, are you in there? Yeah. Did you take the hammer? I thought you had it. Well, I did, but then I, I put it down. Now I can't find it. I just can't imagine where it went. Well, did you ask your dad? No. Oh, no. Dad? Huh? Did you take the hammer? Nope. You sure? I am. Unless I've gone senile and don't know it. It's always a possibility. <laughs> closet door actually swings. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, no. <laughs> we are the light of the world. May our light shine for men. That they may see the good that we do and give glory to God. Just a few announcements today. There'll be a church, so if you want to bring something, see Annie Wyatt. Annie, we still need desserts. And now we'd like to welcome John and Mary Smurrow, Jack and Janet, and their two daughters, Colleen and Katie. Yes, stand. This church exists for the needs of this community. If you should ever need help of any kind, you can always come here. Now. I know you're all waiting breathlessly for news of this year's Monte Carlo night. That you're excited about going to your new school, huh, Katie? I want to stay home with you. Yeah, but it's such a nice school and such a pretty teacher. I want to stay home with you. Well, I want to stay home with you too, but I have to go to work. Well, let me walk you to the door. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, the toaster's on fire! It's all right. Daddy, put it out. It's all right, it's all right. Now, Daddy put out the fire. It wasn't even plugged in. I didn't use it this morning. Have one of you girls you've been playing with this plug, plugging it in, pulling it out again? No, Have you? I wasn't. Okay, well, leave it alone. All right, I have to get to We were really happy on Chase Street those first two years. The baby I thought I was having turned out to be fraternal twins, Aaron and Sean. Jack got promoted to the production department, and we were active in both the church and the Lions Club. I helped start a chapter of Students Against Driving Drunk at the high school, and Jack coached Katie and Colleen's softball team. Our luck seemed to change as the years went by. Mary had a heart attack and barely left the house. And the irritations that most people live with from time to time were constant with us. Our new boiler lasted only six months. The electrical wiring had to be redone three times. And our bills were astronomical. Dad, I was just wondering. Is something wrong? Why don't you go in and talk to Mary about it? 
Hey, Mom. Janet. You okay? Just fine. Were you just over on our side by any chance? Not after what I heard just a few minutes ago. What did you hear? More foul language than I've ever heard in my life. My son is a good Catholic. He's never used words like that. Maybe he picks them up in the Navy, I don't know, but I never expected to hear such filth coming from you. Mom, it couldn't have been us. Jack went to work early this morning. I heard you plain as day. Mom, I wouldn't lie to you. Then who was it? I don't know. Well, it was somebody and it sounded just like you. I don't want to talk about it anymore. your home. What's the matter? Where are the kids? They're fine. They're in bed. But I had a fight with your mother. Oh, uh, what about? It wasn't my fault, Jack. I was down in the basement. I was doing the laundry. I heard her calling me. I went upstairs to see what she wanted. She wasn't there. And that's so why I you're out here in the cold. Listen to me, Jack. She started accusing me of Janet, using all I'm this foul language. I'm worried about you. You're doing too much with all the carpools listen and the me, church Jack. flowers and the club meetings. You are running yourself ragged. I am now, you're gonna have to There cut is nothing out. wrong with me. Okay, I'm just saying that you should find some time to have a little bit of fun, too, huh? You should. Now, come on, let's get inside. Come on. I'm tired, too, man. me just then? No. Go back to sleep, hon. Oh, no. Oh, you got the good cop. Oh, my newsletter for the Linus is was due at the printer yesterday, not today. And they're screwed up. Is this all the cereal we got? Isn't enough for you? Done that? I can't find a clean shirt. The oh my god. I forgot about the laundry. What should I put on? Um, it's in the dryer. I'm sorry, Jack. I'll, I'll go get you. Oh, take it easy. Take it easy. I'll do it. What's going on with you? I'll get it. I'll get it. Hello? Oh, hi, Joe. She's right here. Mom. Okay. Everything's fine. Hello? Hi. Shut up. Do, Colleen. Is Sean dressed? I don't know. Probably. Are there any bananas left? Sean! Yeah, this is not that milk. Just because Colleen's on a diet. Oh, shut up. See you later. What is it? What about breakfast? No time. Tape. I need tape. It's right on the counter. No, it's not. I need to fix my homework. I'll get an F. Well, take it easy, Sean. I swear I put it right on the counter. It was there a couple of minutes ago. I just saw it. I swear it was... Right on the counter. Oh. Well, that's Annie. Um, ask your teacher for tape. Mom! Oh, wait a sec. Oh, I'll get this on the way to school. 
Have a good day. No, I don't know. Bye, honey. Bye, Mom. I got a good too. Bye. Okay, bye. Mom? Oh. Hi. Mom? Mom? You know, I think you ought to get out of the house today. It's a little tense. Maybe I will. <sighs> Bye. at this headline. Mom grinds up family dog to feed her children. <laughs> better than mom grinds up kids to feed family dog. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this one. Alien makes hundreds of women pregnant. Oh. Things people believe. Oh. Janet, it's you. You know, sometimes I think Herb looks like an alien. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. pretty. What's with you today? Cora, do I look crazy to you? You? You're the sanest person I've ever known. My husband doesn't think so. Oh, that's nonsense. Jeff would never think that. What makes you think you're crazier than anyone else? I'm having these nightmares. But they're really daymares. I see things, I hear things, I feel things that nobody else does. Has that ever happened to you? No, no, I can't say that it has. But if, if it really worries you... Maybe you should see a psychiatrist. A psychiatrist? You better be tortured by aliens. Strike! I got strike. Well, can everybody cheer at once? Yay! Hey. That's very good, Anna. Dr. Smith, help! I'm afraid without you. Don't leave me alone. Over here, it's me, Dr. Smith. Watch this. There is still danger. Hey, Joe. Do you guys French kiss? Helene's <laughs> bugging us! <laughs> what are you laughing about? You don't even know what French kissing is. I do too. What is it then? I don't have to tell you if I don't want to. I know, it's kissing with your mouth open. That's disgusting! That's enough. <laughs> Why, thanks, Mrs. Merle. You know, it's been two weeks since that last button fell off. I've been cold for two weeks. Now you two will be home before midnight. Yes, ma'am. Don't worry, I'm a great driver. Mom, we're gonna be late for the party. Well, have fun, you two. Yeah. Au revoir. That's French. <laughs> right. Shut up, Colleen. <laughs> Did Katie come back early? No, why? Sounds like someone's taking a bath up there. I don't hear anything. Me neither. Ouch, not so tight. Sorry. You didn't hear that? What, Mommy? It's okay, I'm just gonna go take a look. I'll be right back. Wait, Mom. Maybe you should wait till Dad gets home. Just finish Sean's hair. There's nothing to worry about.
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. been? The Lions Club. Where else? Those meetings never go this late. Well, I had a beer with the guys. Is there something wrong with that? Yes, there is. I needed you here. Just once, I'd like to come home and have there not be some kind of a big problem. Okay, now, is that too much to ask? Are you seeing somebody else? What? Because if you are, I'll leave you. I swear to God, Jack, I will take the children and I will leave. Wait, Wait what are right you talking now? about? What are you talking about? I don't know. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? I heard voices. Voices? And footsteps and doors slamming. Who's? Nobody's. There was nobody there. There's never anybody here when you're here, Jack. They only come when I'm here alone. They who? Who, who are you talking about? Huh? You think I'm crazy, don't you? I didn't say that. No, but you think it, don't you? Well, I'm not. If you don't believe me, you ask your mother, because she's heard it too. Jack, there is something terribly wrong with this house. I want to get out of here right now. I want to move. So that's what this is all about? You want to move again? Yes. We can't. Why not? Because we can't afford it. Every penny we have is tied up into this house, and with my mother's heart, she wouldn't even survive a move. Jack, I'm scared. There's something wrong here. There is something happening to us. No, there's nothing happening to us, Janet, so just forget it. We're not going to move. Janet! Janet! I saw you leaving. Here are the vases that you wanted. Oh, you almost forgot. Oops. These are mine. <laughs> oh, thanks. I got a baptism Sunday, so I want the flowers to look especially nice. How you doing? Oh, not so good, Cora. Can I talk to you a minute? Sure. Before I moved in my house, did you ever notice anything weird going on over there? No. You think there's something weird going on there? Sometimes. <sighs> I know this sounds ridiculous, but do you believe in ghosts? I believe in good spirits and in bad spirits. Why? You think you got ghosts in your house? I just know there's something bad there. I, I can't see it, but I can feel it. Sounds nuts, doesn't it? No, no. You're not the only person who believes in ghosts. There was this couple on TV. They take pictures of them. They lecture all over the world. Maybe, maybe I have last week's TV guide. Do you want me to see? I could give you their names. Let me think about it. Thanks. I'll say a prayer for you, Janet.
I, I know you're mad at me, but I need you. Janet, I'm so glad that you came. What? What? There was a thing in here. I swear it. I, I couldn't see its face. I I don't know how to say this. It, it was so awful. It, it went right past me and it disappeared into the wall. Am I going crazy? <laughs> I thought I was going crazy. You saw it too? Uh-huh. It was standing in my kitchen. It went into the dining room. And then it disappeared. Were you telling the truth the other day? You know. Oh, Mom. I swear to you. Jack wasn't home. Oh, Janet. I'm so afraid. Tell them, Mom. I was saying my novenas, and it came through the room right past me and went into the wall. I don't believe us. I told you. It's not that we don't believe you. It's no, just we're, we're just trying to figure out what's going on. Mm -hmm. Maybe you've been watching too many of those horror movies. It was real. You guys weren't there. We saw it. Yeah. I didn't know where to turn, but I needed answers. So I read everything I could about the supernatural. I began to learn that other people had experienced similar problems. And somehow that made me feel a little better. This whole neighborhood was built over old mine shafts. During the 1930s, some of the houses on this block actually caved in. And according to this book here, one of the cave-ins unearthed a set of pig bones, which had been arranged in a hexagram, which is the sign of the devil. It indicates satanic worship. Janet. And according to this book here, a spirit is generally invited into a house by two means. Willful, like you hold a seance or play with a Ouija board or something, or by the occurrence of a terrible crime on the property. Janet. And spirits can appear at will. And they can appear to one person and not to the other, making that one person think that he or she is loony when she is not. You know, you are going to scare the kids with all this stuff. I haven't said a word to them, and I don't intend to. Do something. We gotta get help. Jack. Will you just cut this out? You're talking yourself into it. Here, just put your head on my pillow, please, right now. Come on. I don't hear anything. Keep listening. You heard it? What is that? I thought I heard something.
What is? I don't know. It's touching my leg. Where? Here. Holy cow. You feel it? Yeah, I do. Jack, make it go away. Make it stop. Stop it, you! Just stop it right now! You feel anything? Now do you believe me? Yeah. Is that what I do? Happy Sunday, Julia. Hi, Father. Yeah, how's school? Good, thank you. Okay, good. Right. <laughs> Hello. Thank you for making us feel welcome. You are welcome. We love having you here. Thank you, Father. You're a great comfort. Thank you. Happy Sunday. And a happy Sunday to you, too. Very inspiring. Thank you so much. So pleasant to have you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. How's school with you? Thank you. You know, it's good. Mm, I know, I know. Hello, darlings. How are you? So nice to see Hi. you here. Hello, Jen. I love what you said about St. Francis. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Happy Sunday to you, my father. Happy Sunday to you, too. And you. Father, can I speak with you? Janet, how are you? I've been better. I'm sorry to hear that. Can I be of any help? Father, couldn't you come to dinner Friday night? Yes, I think I can make that. Can you give me some idea of the problem you're having? It's, uh, it's the house problem. A house problem. You know, marriage can be a very tough thing, very tough. And you all haven't had an easy time of it. Sometimes what we think of as uh, ghosts or demons are really the demons in ourselves. Now tell me, have you two ever thought of marriage counseling? Father, I really don't think this has... I have a counseling group myself. We meet at the church every Wednesday night. It's very popular, but I think I can make room for you if you'd like. Father, I saw it too. Father, uh, please look around the house. I will, I will. But I want you to think very carefully about what I've just said here. Now, you do that for me while I take a walk around, will you? Sure. Thank you, Father. I'll go and say a blessing in every room. And if there is a, a presence in the house, that ought to get rid of it. Thank you. feeling well. Well, can, can we get you anything? Oh, better. No, nothing. Uh, nothing. Thank you. So, what is it, Father? Can you help us? I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, if anything else happens here... Please call me. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. I'll do whatever I can. Thank you, Father. Mom, what was he doing here? 
came to bless the house, honey. Something the church does. Isn't that nice? I guess so. You think it's over? I think that spook got itself a room at the Holiday Inn. You're not just saying that. I'm not just saying that. Can you help me? My zipper's stuck. Sure, come here, honey. I'm gonna get up there and blow my confirmation. No, you're not. How you doing on your mask, Sean? Fine. Which tie? Blue one. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm so nervous. No, don't be nervous. That seems some amazing grace to calm your nerves. Okay. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound That saved a wretch like me I once was lost, but now I'm found ah! oh, What happened? It's all right, I'm right here, I'm right here What's going on? What the hell happened? Oh, no. Let me see, sweetheart. Come here, sweetheart. Come here, come here, come here, come here. There we are. Okay. Yeah. All right. Look, I know it hurts. And you're feeling scared. It's just a little cut, okay? Katie's, Katie's going to put a Band-Aid on it. Katie, you take care of Sean, huh? And nobody goes near that thing. Okay, everybody, let's not let this spoil a wonderful night, huh? Come on, out to the car. Off you go. Get your raincoats, and I'll go and get Grandma and Grandpa. Katie, I'll help you. Is she going to be okay? I put that thing up myself. I could have sworn those bolts were solid. How could I have screwed up so bad? Maybe it wasn't you. I don't know which is worse. Tomorrow, Janet. But, Father, it's an emergency. Things have gotten worse. Uh, one of my children was nearly killed tonight. Whatever it is, tore a light fixture right out of the ceiling on top of us. I should have gotten back to you early, but I'd hope. I'm sorry, Janet. I can't help you. The church won't give me permission. I don't understand, Father. We're good Catholics. And we're living in modern times. The church needs to catch up. It needs a more uh, pragmatic image. Spirits, the devil, all these are part of the old church, Janet, not the new. Without the sanction of the church, I can't help you. Well, what are we going to do, Father? What about my children? I still have my marriage counseling group. Father, we don't need help with our marriage. We need help with our spirits. You're going to need all the help you can get with your marriage, Janet. That's what the devil wants most to destroy. And that's the only thing that will save you in the end. Everybody up on the porch. Up to the porch. Come on. Oh my God. What did he say? Well, the diocese won't give Father Larson permission to help us. 
Catholic Church has always helped us. That's what they're for. Well, we'll have to get help somewhere else, that's all. But where? I don't know. Come on, let's get warm. We wanted to leave, but Mary was in no condition to move again. We kept thinking there had to be someone who could help us. I must have called every expert on the history and geology of the region. I contacted every university in the country with the parapsychology department. Then Cora told me that the Warrens, the couple she'd seen on TV, were lecturing at the local college about their psychic research. This last slide was taken at West Point. General Andrew Bellingham asked us there to deal with a haunting that shook up his cadets. A spirit named Isabel, who died right after the revolution, was living in a dorm room closet. Living? In a manner of speaking. Lights. But Isabel didn't try to harm us. After 20 years of psychic research, the devil knows who we are. Yeah, you know, we've had more than one spirit try to kill us. Just so we know it's personal. <laughs> And the investigations are exhausting. Entities often uh, use us as batteries, draining us for their energy. We're uh, accustomed to dealing with skeptics everywhere. But those are real apparitions you've seen, not just reflections or wisps of smoke. Questions? Can you expand on psychic sleep? Is it like a trance? Yes, a little. But a trance can be self-induced and not as deep. Whereas psychic sleep is a state of total oblivion. So profound, it's more like death. Yes. Um, what do you say to people who accuse you of making all of this up? <laughs> I tell them I wish they were right. <laughs> Thanks, folks. Thank That's you. All. <laughs> <laughs> Ed, Ed, call me Ed. What can I do for you? How much do you charge to help people with their spirits? Well, we do it for free. We make our money by doing these lectures. Why? We have one. A spirit, I mean. What makes you think this? Something came into the room and touched me, and it dropped a light fixture on my children. And it whispers and pounds on the walls, and none of us can get any sleep anymore. We're all so tired. And nobody believes us, and I really think I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Has it materialized? What? Taken form, appeared to you. Yes, it has. Have you noticed any odors? Terrible ones. Please, uh, put your address down on this card, and we'll be over to see you before we leave. Thank you. Thank you. I went to their lecture this afternoon. They're not kooks. If word gets out in the neighborhood that we've hired a couple of... Demonologists. What choice do we have at this point? Mom, we're ready for bed! Come in! I promised them that I would read them a story. I'll be back in a while. Jack, please think about this.
I don't believe this. Can it just do anything it wants? I'm afraid so. We've only had a few reports of a rape like this since we started working. Have you told your children about any of this? No, not yet. We didn't want to scare them. I understand. You're probably right, at least for now. All right. Are you ready? Lorraine will go through the house and see if she can sense any presences. In the meantime, I'm going to ask you a lot of personal questions, so just answer them as best you can. Okay, we'll try. Be careful. Yeah, I'll be just fine. I've got some very powerful protection. Do any of you drink? Any history of alcoholism in your family? Well, I, I have a beer every once in a while. Any drugs? Valium? What does that have to do with it? To be honest, what we usually find in these cases is drug or alcohol abuse. These are ideal entry points for demonic spirits. Are you familiar with the term Satanism? Yes. Have you ever practiced Satanism? No. You ever want to hit your kids? Why are you asking this? Because spirits can make you do whatever they want you to do. Any marital problems? Just the uh, usual. You know, Jack, I know this is a touchy subject, but uh, what's usual to you? Uh, you know, we, we fight sometimes. Strange things begin to happen. Sometimes the camera captures what the eye can't see. Um, <clears throat> this is cold. I'll get you some fresh. Did you find anything? Yes, I'm afraid I did. There are four spirits in your house. One of them is an elderly woman. She's confused, but harmless. And there's a young girl who may be violent, I'm not sure. Is that the one that attacked me? No, but I'll get to that. The third spirit is a man who suffered terribly in this house. I I'm not quite sure how, but I do know that he died here. Janet, would you, would you please sit down? I want you both to remain calm while I tell you about the fourth spirit, the one that attacked you, Jack. It's what is known as a demon. This demon is using the other three spirits to destroy your family. Why? Why is it picking on us? Frankly, judging by your answers to my questions, I really don't know. But what I do know is that your oldest daughters have passed through puberty. This is giving the demon the energy to surface. It's the classic pattern. It's drawing on their emotional turbulence, and now it's tapping into yours. Did you renovate this house? Oh, yeah, we sure did. Well, it was just awful. They might have been dormant, and you woke them up. How long will this go on? Can we stop? Would you let us try an experiment? There's a very strong presence right behind me. And an even stronger one next to the bureau. The TV! Ed, watch out! Check! Do something! In the name of Jesus Christ, 
I command you to be gone. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to be gone. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to be gone. water that I gave you is especially blessed. And keep that prayer with you at all times. I won't call you tomorrow, Janet. Thank you. Mm -hmm. you know, it already feels different in here, so maybe they're gone for good. Maybe. But you got to remember, you two, there are no cures for things like this. Only defenses. And if it does come back, you're going to have to tell the kids. It wants to destroy your family. You'll have to fight it as a family. We'll be praying for you. You call so us now. Much. Anytime. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. I'm sure. Hey, we're a family, right? Huh? We know people who know all about this who are helping us. Wait until the kids in school hear this. Take it easy now. Watch the steps. I'll be okay. That's it. This is heavy. John, are you going to be warm or not? Daddy, Mr. Warren's on the phone. Here, I'll take that. Thanks. Can I sit next to you, Grandma? Oh, sure. Ed? Yeah, th this place was like a bunker last night, like there was a war going on here. When can you come back? I see. Well, we're, we're just going to get out of here for a few days. Camping. Okay. Right. We will. Thanks. Bye-bye. What did he say? He said uh, that there is a war going on here. Who stole my golden arm? He moaned. Who stole my golden arm? He moaned. Where's my golden arm? It's here! <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> Bedtime, you two. Oh, Mom, we're not tired. It's too early. Well, it's not too early for us. What do you say, Pa? You ready for bed? Almost. Katie's roasting me a special marshmallow. He likes it golden brown on the outside and runny on the inside. Yep. <laughs> Don't spoil it. You'll get used to it. <laughs> I haven't got to bed yet. I've got hot chocolate for everybody. Us, too. You, too. Hey, honey, you got some wood. This is all I could find. It's really picked to clean around here. Good. 
It was such a clear night. See the Big Dipper? Oh, yeah. The pot? And yeah, I can see it. Of it. But I'll bet that dog's got himself a raccoon. Or that raccoon's got himself a dog. Mom! <laughs> What in the world is going on in there? They were away on a camping trip. <laughs> that dog never gonna shut up. It's gonna give us a wake all night. Mom, you want a refill? No, no, I'm fine. Thanks. Sean, here's me. Sean, what is it? What do you see? <laughs> Maybe we can never get away from it. Take it easy there, kid. We'll be all right as long as we're all together. The church. We've got to get them to listen to us. Yeah. I'm going to call the Warrens again. Heard it. it sounded like somebody was being tortured to death. We called the police. They came over. They checked the house out, and they said they didn't find anything wrong. I've never been so scared in my whole life. Oh, Janet. I'm so glad you're home. I wish I was. Bud, it's me. They're all right. I'll be there as soon as I can. Bye. I've got to get home. Bud's having a problem with the kids. Look, if you want, I can get hold of the Sacred Heart League. They come to people's houses and pray for them. We'll think about it. Thank you. Janet, if I were you, I'd get help right away. If I were you, I'd move. If you need anything, anything at all, please don't hesitate to call us, okay? What's going on here? I don't know. Jack, we've got to get out of here, no matter what. What's going to stop it from following us, no matter where we go? Then we send the kids away. Aaron and Sean can stay at Aunt Lily's for a while. Why no. not? Colleen and Kitty can stay with their friends. The Warrens told us to stick together. I don't care what the Warrens said. I want my kids safe. I'm not going to stand by and watch them go through this anymore, Jack. Come on, you guys. It's time to go. Okay. Bye, Mom. Oh, you be good. Mm. Oh. No ice cream for breakfast, okay? Okay, be cool, Mom. I will. Thanks so much, Aunt Lily. Oh, you're welcome, and don't worry about a thing. Can give us a call later on? I will. Okay. We'll have fun. I'm sitting in the front. Listen, Ed, we've had enough of this. Now, what would happen if we leveled this place, if we just tore it right down to the ground? It'd mean that we'd lose everything that we put into it, but... I wouldn't do that. Why? Jack, that's exactly the kind of defeat the demon is going for. You understand that, don't you? Yeah. Your only option is to try and get your church to come and perform an exorcism. Good morning. And here's the news. Ed, the church won't even return our calls. But I've had an idea. What if we took our story to the press? Maybe we could shame the church into helping us. Now, going to the press has risks. They could easily turn against you. One day you're a hero, the next day you're a liar. Now you've got to explore every other channel before you go to such an extreme, Jack. Well, I just don't know how much more of this we can take. We felt relieved that our kids were out of danger. But Jack and I also needed some peace. We felt safer downstairs. Okay. Hello? Uh, 
Hold on, hold on, honey. I can't understand you. It's Katie. Um, okay, look, it's all right. We're going to come pick you up, okay? You just sit right there. I love you. Bye. We followed her. We found an Episcopal priest who will come and perform an exorcism. Now, it's not ideal, folks. The priest really ought to come from your own region and your own faith. But, but we've, we've worked with this man a number of times. He used to be a Catholic, but he left the church over some policy disagreement. He's what you'd call a bit of a renegade, but he'll do the best he can for you. Wait. Once this guy comes, that'll be it, right? The demon will either go away or... Or what? Retaliate. That's the risk you take with an exorcism. Okay, we'll take the risk. days, uh, exorcisms were performed by three priests, but it's difficult to find anyone to perform the ritual these days, so I'm going to need your help. Uh, Jack, were you ever an altar boy? Yes, Father, I was. Good. You can say the responses, and if you'll take that holy water. Now, if you and Janet will follow me, the rest of you can stay here. Dominus Fobiscum. Et cum spiritu tuo. Deus in nomine tuo salva me fac, e virtute tua age causum meam. Deus audi e orationem meam, auribus percipe verba oris me, nam superbi insurrexerent contra me, e violenti quasierent vitam meam, non propuswerent deum ante oculus suos. Ecce Deus adjuvat me, Dominus sustentat, vita mea, retorque malum, na versarios meos, e profedidelitate tua destrue ilos. Voluntari sacrificavo tibi, celebrabo nomen tuum Domine, gloria bono ex omnes in women, and blessed is the fruit of our Lord Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. But blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, the Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Moses. I smell them too. Yes, it happens every time. It's God's will. Oh, Mama. Is it over now, Dan? It's going to be all right now. Father? What does it want with us? It wants to kill you. Why? Why us? I think you were chosen. You, your parents, your wife and children are what I call victim souls. Good and evil are fighting it out through you. Your love for each other and your faith are the things that the devil wants to destroy most. 
Because those are the only things that can destroy the devil. Don't lose your faith, Jack. It's keeping you alive. Thank you, Father. single incident. Every few days, the smell of roses returned. We could sleep again. And finally, we thought we had our house back. I'm a parishioner from West Piston, and it's an emergency. The bishop has no time until three weeks from tomorrow. It's a matter of life and death. Well, why don't you tell me something about it? Perhaps I can help you. I have a demon in my house. I see. Look, it's trying to kill us, and I'm sick and tired of, of being given the runaround from the church. I want some help now. Why don't you give me your phone number? I'll have him call you. What's going on? Pick me up and threw me against the wall. Oh, oh, help, me. help me. Help me. Yeah. Ah! 
No more priests. We just didn't pray hard enough. Yeah, and all the praying and the uh, holding up of crucifixes and the sprinkling around of the holy water, what good did that do? I think it's time we went to the press. There has got to be somebody out there who can help us. But, Jack, the children... Where are you, you bastard? Come on, where are you? You're not going to get us. We're not going to give in. You hear me? Nobody is going to wreck my family. Nobody, nobody, nobody. After feeling alone for so long, we were surprised by the attention of the reporters. Our story spread so quickly, we felt sure that this was the way to find help. There was a lot of interest, but we were unprepared for what was to come. The family is allegedly being threatened due to an ongoing series, series of bizarre, even supernatural Hey, sugar! See a ghost lately? <laughs> Shut up! Subjected to numerous eerie and frightening occurrences within their homes within their that home range, that range from, from merely annoying, annoying to physically harmful. harmful. The Smurls report the movement and disappearance of articles, unexplained noises and whispering, and actual manifestations of ghostly phenomena, ghostly phenomena which sometimes result which in violence, sometimes towards, result themselves in violence and towards themselves and their children. Mrs. Smurl recounted several instances where she had been attacked, been in, her attacked in her sleep. The latest encounter, the latest actually, encounter resulted actually resulted in her being levitated to almost levitated six feet. Almost six feet. About the room. About the room. Smurl, can I ask a few questions about your ghost? Are you all right? Did you have to scare her this way? She has a bad heart. Now get out of here. Look, I'm just trying. Now, out. Jack, you seen a demon's last night? We told you everything we have to tell. Let him by. We all heard them. The whole block heard them. I was taught that confession is good for the soul. But I didn't feel too good the next week. We got more than 200 calls from journalists. That doesn't include the oddballs who camped out at every door and window of our house. I see it. I see. Oh, oh, oh. Those people began to worry us almost as much as the demons. We were afraid the outside world would think that we were crazy too. Mrs. Carl, one question. Quiet, please. Do you have a prepared statement? When a family is stricken with a tragedy like a fire or a flood, people band together to aid the victims. But what if the tragedy isn't natural but supernatural? Then it's a different story. As reporters, you can see that this situation is now completely out of hand. We ask that you please help us now by leaving us alone and saying a prayer for us in church. Uh, Father, can I sign this? Father, what is your view? Do you believe in God? Father, 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 Thank you.
Yes, yes, he is. Just a minute. Father Ken, it's for you. Thank you. Hello? Yes. I've been called back to Scranton. Oh, no, don't. Don't go yet. Janet, I've been here for two days, and I haven't heard or seen anything unusual. But don't you see? It's playing with us. It's hiding. It wants you to think that we're lying. Please, you've got to believe us. You've got to get us some help. Please, Father, please. Janet, I don't think you're lying. Sometimes, sometimes we think we see things, horrible things. When we're just not feeling very special in this world, I'm sorry. Don't leave, Father. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. I beg you, not as a priest, but as a human being, protect us. Don't let it kill my children. Janet, I've done everything I could. Now, let's not do anything we both might regret. But you said, you said that you would help. Promise. You promise. Come back. Come back. Rosalie, it's Janet. Is Jack still there? You better get away from the window. Unlock all your doors. Hey, mister. Just let me in the house. I can't let you in, mister. You've got ghosts, remember? Something might happen to you. Now back. Get back. Hey, Help! 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 Help!
What happened? What's going on? Oh, God. Take the girls into the kitchen. And you better pray for me tonight, hon. Because that is the only thing that is going to keep me from killing somebody. Take a candle. Help us pray. Take a candle. Help us pray. Here comes another bunch of nuts. We're from the Sacred Heart League. We're here for the meeting. Oh my God, I forgot this is the night. Looks like we came at the right time. You sure did. Come on in. Thank you. What is, what is going on inside? We are from the Sacred Heart League. Welcome. Please, take a candle. Thank you. Make yourself at home. I will. Please, Please come in. Aaron, Sean, Katie, Colleen. The Lord works in mysterious ways. Just when it seemed like things couldn't get any worse, he brought the members of the Sacred Heart League to pray for us. Maybe this will work. It's got to. I had never experienced the power of love and prayer that surrounded us that night. And that incredible strength lasted longer than anything else we had tried. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Was too heavy for you? No, I can carry more. No, no, you're carrying enough. Come on, let's go look at your room. Come on, Colleen. I'm coming, hold on. We were forced to move from the house on Chase Street. The funny thing is, not by demons, but from the never-ending attention. We hoped that in a new place, away from the public eye, neighbors wouldn't have heard about us, and we could try to live a normal life. I'll be there in a second. Is this exciting? Nice. Put those boxes over there for now, honey. Okay, Dad. Go help Grandpa. So what do you think? Oh, honey, <laughs> it's beautiful. It's the nicest house we've ever lived in. Yeah, well, there's a few things that need some work, though, like that window over there. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the swing set? Mm. Oh, it's beautiful. Janet? I'm in here, Mom! I got you! <laughs> Mom? Wait! Janet? Wait! I'm in the kitchen! <laughs> Wait! Mom? Janet? <laughs> 